at ABS-8 Adventurers, here's going to be a slightly different video from what is regularly seen on this channel. Although it's still going to be related to animals, so don't worry. This is about the time when I caught a fish inside a jar. So let me share this anecdote. It was 2019, I was trekking at this location and its final destination was a huge waterfall. It was mesmerizing to look at. After eating food over there, I had spotted a school of fish in some bodies of water next to the waterfall. So regardless, my plan was to catch the fish, but I didn't have any fishing equipment. Nor did I want to use any, because fishing equipment, especially the hooks of those, can potentially injure the fish, leading to many casualties of them. Instead, I made use of what I had at hand, which was a jar. Not this one, I would lost that jar like years back. So regardless, I approached the school of fish carefully, I placed the jar inside. The fish obviously scattered around in the water. It took me a very long time to get the fish to actually go even close to the jar. But my slight vibrations of my hands ended up scaring them away. Eventually though, a fish managed to swim very close inside of the jar. And I managed to snap it shut right on time. There are some clips of the fish which I filmed, as well as some light dialogue from that time. Wow! You saw those organs? Ah, this is better. I was unable to identify this fish actually. Do any of you guys know what this fish is? If so, leave it down in the comments. So regardless, a pretty cool experience of catching a fish in a unique way. Obviously towards the end I ended up releasing the fish outside in the water. Okay, let's get to the biology of fishes. Fishes are vertebrates belonging to the phylum Chordata. Vertebrates also include amphibians, reptiles and birds, and mammals. Fish in classification are not classified as a natural group. According to Richard Dawkins' The Greatest Show on Earth, within chapter 6, fish are all the vertebrates except those that moved on to the land. Because all the early evolution of vertebrates took place in water, it is not surprising that most of the surviving branches of the vertebrate tree are still in the sea. Fish are a very wide category, with some species being related more to humans than other fishes. Fish are classified into three main classes. The jawless fishes, the bony fishes and the cartilaginous fishes. Fish are mainly characterized by their aquatic habitats. There are various types of fins which help them to swim in the water and their respiratory habits. Fish breathe with gills, taking the oxygen from water molecules and diffusing it into their bloodstream. Some other creatures also make use of gills within the vertebrate faction, like some amphibians. Within the invertebrate faction, some marine worms, isopods and others make use of gills for respiration as well. Did you know that certain species of fish speciated into what we know as tetrapods, which speciated into amphibians, which in turn evolved into reptiles and mammals? Now for the ultimate question. Is it fish or fishes? Fish is used as a singular and when used in the plural form, it refers to fish of similar or the same species. On the other hand, fishes is purely a plural term, referring to multiple different creatures of the fish faction. I hope you guys enjoyed this slightly different video. I would really like to keep a fish someday. Regardless, if you enjoyed the short biology anecdote, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, a comment and a share. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel with notifications on so as to not miss new videos. This is AVSE signing out. Take care and goodbye.